Good evening everybody. It is Tuesday the 2nd of June today. It's about 7.15 in the evening and as you can see down the canal once again. I'm quite enjoying my canal fishing this year. Now we've we've managed to find a few fish. Um, so what I've done is come to my um, favourite stretch. If you look, look back uh, three videos ago it would be. Um, this is my favourite favorite stretch of canal. really like it up here. It's very natural looking. Very very enjoyable fishing up here. Um, however, th things have changed since last time. Um, the boat's are moving again, uh, so it's coloured up a little bit more. It may help the fishing, it may not, who knows. Uh, I don't think it'll do any harm anyway. Um, and with that in mind, again, I'm fishing for silvers, bream, um, roach, hybrids, things along those lines, even some perch. Uh, I've got with me got with me this evening some worms and some maggots and some bread and I've got some fish meal based ground bait this time as I'm sort of thinking more uh, we're going to be contacting some bream. Um, I've come a little way perhaps a couple hundred meters away from where I did the last session. What I've done this evening as well knowing that the boats will be moving is once again I'm going to fish the lift method I'm going to try anyway I've got my uh, center pin there and you see my uh, the Wilson Avon Quiver set at 11 foot um, with the if I can grab hold of it come here the um, Drennan glow tip antennas float there 3BB size I'm going to try and fish that but there's some drawer on the canal at the moment I'm going to struggle I think it's going to pull this float under I may well have meant end up changing to larger float um, but uh, I like to anchor it down which is why I like to fish the lift method um, but if I'm still struggling with that, I've actually bought a feeder rod with me as well, a uh, ledger rod. So I can always just go on the uh, uh, on a link ledger or something. And uh, obviously that won't be a problem with the, with the tow that's on there at the moment. There's no breeze. It's lovely and sunny and warm. Uh, it's been up 26 degrees today. But uh, as of tomorrow, it's going to rain uh, um, for a day or so which will probably help the fishing as well but uh, I thought I'd get a session in whilst it was still lovely and modern I could sit here in my t-shirt <laughs> So I've been fishing about 20 minutes now, uh, no signs of fish at all, there's no fish moving at the moment and I'm uh, pretty sure there's no fish here either uh, currently because I, with it being so shallow, it's two and a half foot deep, the float tends to move about when the fish move in. But, uh, I think we'll stick it out here perhaps, perhaps for an hour, see if we can get something going. If not, I have no problem with having a bit of a move, I'm going to have a move a bit further down that way. And uh, if we really can't get anything going up here, I'll move back to where we fished uh, three videos ago. And uh, we'll, we'll drop into that swim as well. You'll have to excuse my slightly stuffy nose, but a uh, bit of hay fever this evening. Something, uh, something around here is getting me. My hay fever is fairly selective. Um, and uh, I think there's something around here that's, uh, that's really getting up my nose. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> that's a good sign. Something's just rolled over there. So there are some fish about. A reasonable sized fish. So that's that's good. That's good news. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely some fish around. <laughs> there's a big splash to my left again. Well, guys, how bizarre is that? Literally, 
Just walking along the canal, just to my left, just in these fish roll, just checking the depth. <laughs> I had a couple of maggots on, and uh, uh, this bream has just nailed it. So I think perhaps I need to move 10 meters that way. It's a little bit deeper. I think they may be sitting there. <laughs> I was just thinking about doing it. Just went for, turn the camera off, went for a little wonder. And there you go. It's a proper one as well. <laughs> crazy, absolutely crazy. <sighs> well, guys, well, there we are. As I say, I was contemplating moving, that's why I just wandered up there and bang, I definitely need to move. <laughs> it's only maybe 10 meters, so uh, careful, just gonna move along here a little way. Well guys, we've moved and uh, literally dro just dropped my float out there with a scabby couple of maggots on and uh, it started to run away again. So I guess just that sort of literally 10 metres has made all the difference. Now what I have had to do as well, as I mentioned on my, is I've had to change floats. I've gone for a insert waggler as you can see okay hope you can see that just a 3bb model it's just a bit more stable with this flow that's still got the canal moving um, but my plan is to change back to the more sensitive float when when the, the boats stop moving that the canal should stop moving as well and uh, like to fish a bit more sensitively than this float allows me but uh, I have to use it for now I'm afraid Catching some proper ones tonight. There we go. Fab. <laughs> another, another fantastic fish. Great stuff. <laughs> well, it's just about half past eight. And uh, it's all gone very quiet here, unfortunately. I think the, few, the fish that were here have moved off. Um, perhaps 40, 40 meters or so down the canal that way. I've seen a few fish move. Now I was talking to the guy who's, who's on the boat. Um, and he's a fisherman. He said he's been fishing and doing a bit of baiting up there. So wondering if perhaps they're moving down there to, to get onto his feed. Obviously I'm not gonna rock up and start fishing next to a boat and fishing on someone else's pre-baited spot. So I think uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, up sticks from here the fish clearly have so I think it's about time I did as well and uh, I'm going to move the other side of that boat and a bit further down and go and have a look at the spot that we fished three videos ago um, there uh, tends to be some fish hanging around in that area so uh, we'll, I think we'll get on down there Well, we've had to wait a few minutes in a new spot, but looks like things are going now. Fab.
Bit of a scrap. There we go. <laughs> it's putting up a right scrap. <laughs> well, guys, there we are. It's a proper one <laughs> from the canal. Fab. It's just getting dark. The floats dancing all over the place. Fantastic. Brilliant. Well guys, I'm going to call it a day at that. It's uh, It's gone half ten now and things have gone very quiet. Uh, since I had that last fish, I've only had the odd knock on the float. Uh, very sporadic. Uh, but most of the time there's nothing happening at all, so I think I'm going to call it a day there. But have a really, really enjoyable session. Really enjoyed that. It's a lovely still evening. It's fairly mild. It's, it's been very, very enjoyable indeed. So I think the next time I get out will be on the canal again in a few days' time. Uh, the rain's due tomorrow, so uh, who knows what effect that will have on sports. May may pick things up, may knock the water temperatures down, who knows. But we'll find out next time we're out. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I had a really enjoyable time apart from uh, being, being eaten up by all these mosquitoes. Tight lines, enjoy your own fishing if you manage to get out. And I'll see you again very soon. <laughs>